So hey guys, welcome to another episode of BitGlen and today I'm going to be talking about um, cryptocurrency wallets, uh, one in particular that I just downloaded about an hour ago, so um, we're gonna, I'm just going to show you what my views are and thoughts of it. So to give you a sort of a starting basis, I, I've been using um, Coinbase actually, that seems to be really my only wallet that I have. Um, so I've got my account here and as I've shown you before, I've got £80 worth of BitConnect, wish I didn't, um, but here I am, so you live and learn. So, um, yeah, this is really my only wallet, and obviously you've got three types of currencies here, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and I didn't know that they were actually different wallets, um, I just assumed this was all part of my Coinbase account, um, so it shows you how, what a noob I am at this sort of thing, and I actually signed up, as I've just talked about in my previous video, about joining up with Genesis Mining. And with Genesis Mining, if you actually go to your account and go to your settings, and then go to your wallet, you'll see here that for everything that you mine, you need a separate wallet for each type of currency. So this was news to me. Um, you can see there, there's what, I don't know, 20, and then it goes down, so there's quite a lot. Now, I went back to my Coinbase one, and I just thought I could copy my copy and paste it in there, um, but obviously Coinbase only do three types of coin, so, you know, they don't do Dash, they don't do, um, what was the other one on here that I'm mining for, the Monero, and... Um, they don't do uh, Ethereum. Oh yes, they do, sorry, they do do Ethereum. Um, but it said on there, when I tried clicking on Coinbase, it's which was again a bit confusing, um, to receive, so you got Ethereum there, receive, and it comes up with a little message, only send Ether to this address. Sending any other digital asset, including ETC, will result in a permanent loss. Now, obviously, I'm looking at doing that investment with uh, Environ, um, and they pay you in Ethereum EC20. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. So I was thinking, oh, is that the right currency with that go in my Coinbase account? So it was really confusing. Um, so I had a little look online, obviously YouTube, and um, see what the best sort of uh, wallets were. And one that got mentioned about three or four in three or four different videos was Exodus. So I thought I'd do a video to share that with you guys. So I've put it into British pounds. Um, really clean sort of looking uh, interface. It's um, let's come up with a little blue stats light. I don't know what that means, but um, yeah, really simply laid out, very easy to use. So straight away I was like, boom, this is the one for me. And it actually does all different types of currency. Not all of them, but it does quite a lot of them. Um, so I was thinking, great, this is, uh, you can actually do more. So the ones that you're seeing on my screen here, you can actually add more to it. So you see the ones that are unticked. I can actually tick all of these if I want. Um, but there was a couple in there that are not, not on there that I wish were, but I'll talk about that in a second. So, and you can also change, obviously, where you are. So I've put it all in British pounds, so I know how much I'm spending. And then you can actually change the color and the background of it. So I quite like this uh, Aurora one, but you can have different looks and textures. Um, try deep space, actually. No, not deep space, crisscross. Right, so going back to my portfolio, you can see that there's all the different currencies. So I thought, br brilliant. Um, when I first signed into it, it literally was like this. It didn't ask me for an email address, a password, a username, anything. So I was thinking, what's going on here? So I thought, mm, I don't know, it don't seem very secure. It hasn't asked me for anything. So I actually went and transferred two pounds worth of Erythium into this account. And then I also transferred over two pounds worth of Litecoin, just so I can try it out. And I thought, Do you know what, if this software turns out to be fucking shit, then obviously I've lost two or three pounds, so I'm too fussed. Um, but anyway, once I transferred money in there, it came up saying you should back you should back your system up. So I clicked back up, and then it asks you for username, password, email address, 
two-point authorization so i need to use my phone to get into here as well you can also back all your money up into a vault um so then i thought brilliant super secure easy to use really good interface brilliant that's exactly what i want so now i've got all these different uh, currencies I'll, i had to figure out how to get you know the because uh, you need the um address so you can give that to someone and they send you the money so feel free to send me any money you want <laughs> i'll never say no to any of your money um, unless you want saying in return uh, so let's have a little look uh ephraim so if i want to receive ephraim i click on this little receive button you can see there i've got one pound 59 and it comes up with an address copy and paste that so copy go over to my Genesis Mining, there we go, Ether. So let's get rid of that. And then paste that in there. Boom, got my address. And then you go down to the Save button. There you go, nothing has changed. I've already done that beforehand. But anyway, so now I've got the addresses for all these different currencies. So there's my address if you want to send me any money. <laughs> Dash, Litecoin, Bitcoin, um, Ether, uh, Arug. <laughs> don't know how you pronounce that one. Um, so I was thinking, great, one wallet with all these different colors, uh, currencies. Brilliant. And another thing I liked about it, and I had a little play about with this, and um, I noticed that it has this option to do exchange. So in here, let's say if I want to transfer, obviously I've only got two currencies, so we're going to do Ethereum compared to Litecoin. There you go, look, how easy is that? It's clean, it's crisp, um, I really like it. And in here, you can put either how much Ethereum you wanna transfer over or how much in British pounds. So let's say I wanna put in one. It then tells me how much Ethereum that is and how much that would be worth in Litecoin. Brilliant, easy to use, I love it. But then once I actually did the exchange, so I actually, like I said, transferred over four pound essentially. I think I had like four pound and two P somehow. I had two pound Ethereum and two pound Litecoin. I've transferred over one pound from Litecoin into Ethereum. And then I transferred one pound from Ethereum back to Litecoin. Now I've ended up with three pound and 43 P. So I've actually lost 60 P. That ain't too bad, 60p, bearing in mind uh, Coinbase, for me to transfer, I'll show you this actually, uh, I don't know if I'm signed in, am I signed in? I am. I'll just show you this guys, so bear this in mind, with everything that you do with this sort of Bitcoin currency, there's fees everywhere, and when I say everywhere, I mean if you sneeze while holding Bitcoin, someone's going to take a little bit off you, honestly, um, but, and I completely get it, and obviously, Places like Coinbase and this Exodus, to make that sort of software, I would imagine was thousands of pounds um, with a team of people doing it. Um, you need, you, you know, you've got to either pay for it, subscribe to it, or they take a cut. So I completely get it and I understand it. The only thing that I don't really like is when it's hidden um, or you don't actually know it's there or, you, you know, because you don't know where you stand. Do I trust this company with a thousand pound of my money? If they're taking a slight cut of it without me knowing, do I want to trust them with my life savings? You know, uh, Coinbase do a pretty good job of this. So if you click send, so I'm going to try and send um, Bitcoin money. So how much do you think it would cost? Bear in mind, I've got 31 pound in there. Um, let's say if I want to transfer one Bitcoin, what do you think it would cost for me to send that money across? Now, in my head, I'd be thinking 10p. So let's have a look. Send. Right, network delays and high fees. There are a potential of network delays for Bitcoin. Uh, inbound and outbound transactions have remained pending longer than expected. The fee paid to network. That's something else as well. When I'm talking to all my friends and everyone, they say, what's this Bitcoin thing? And I go, oh, it's money that you can send anywhere in the world instantly. It doesn't go through a bank. It's not instant. I transferred money from Bitcoin into BitConnect and it took, I had to wait until the next day. So quite slow. Um, I don't know if that's going to get a lot faster with time, if they maybe um, change the coding of Bitcoin. Uh, they call it forks. They sort of change 
the uh, structure of it a bit. Um, that might get faster, but anyway. So we'll type in an address here. Um, I'll just paste that one in there. Obviously, I know it's the wrong account, but I'm not actually going to transfer any money. So I'm going to transfer one pound. Uh, one, yeah, one British pound of Bitcoin. So that equals 0.0017 of a Bitcoin. Um, <laughs> now I'm actually trying to show you. It's not. Oh, maybe it's because I haven't entered in a valid address. Let's just get rid of all this. See if it shows me without the address being in there. Oh, actually, let's just get our Bitcoin address. Sorry. <laughs> live TV or live webcam. Uh, what do we want? Exodus. We want to go to wallet. We want to go to Bitcoin. Receive. There's the address to receive Bitcoin. Copy that. Minus this down. Paste that in there. Got a little green tick. Boom, we're on our way. So I'm going to transfer over one pound of Bitcoin. So, before I click continue, network fee, £6.11p. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, for me to transfer £1, it's going to cost me £7.11p all in total. So, to me, that's... I, I don't understand that. I, but, let's have a little look if I was to transfer all £31 of it. Let's see how much... Oh, no. Uh, you do not have enough funds. All right, 30 No? Uh, 25 if I transfer 25 pound it's still 6 pound 11 P so um, you know that's not too bad then so if you was if that's gonna stay the same like that you know if you're transferring a thousand pound you're not gonna worry about six pound but when you're trying to transfer one or ten pound and it's six pounds as junk that's a lot you know so it's made me not want to transfer any money hence why in this Exodus software, I only have Ethereum and uh, Litecoin. The fee to transfer that over was 5p on one, 2p on another. It was saying so minor, um, which is, you know, I'm more than happy to pay. So then obviously I've done this transferring over. So skipping ahead, I've got my £4 in there. So now I'm down, well you can see it's gone up actually, it's just gone up a penny while we've been talking. Um, I've got my four pound in there. I've transferred over a Litecoin into Ethereum because I just wanted to play about with the exchange bit to see how it worked. I thought, oh yeah, this would be good. I can sit there and watch the price of, you know, one coin over another and buy and sell at different times of day and that, which is obviously what a lot of uh, people do. Um, but obviously I'm new to all this, so I'm trying to teach myself. But then I've noticed that as I've transferred the money back, so really I should have two pound in each again. I've transferred one pound from one and then back again. Now I've got £3.40. So I've actually lost 60p, which um, if you obviously minus off 30p each transaction, when you're only transferring over £1, 30p sounds like quite a lot of money. That's 30%. Obviously, if you're transferring £100, that means surely it's going to cost me 30 quid to transfer a Litecoin into Ethereum. So in that respect, I don't actually know what's going on. There's no... Um, message nothing pops up i mean i'll do it now for you actually just so you can uh, see that I'm, i might be doing something wrong you might message me and go oh glenn you didn't you know you didn't click on this button or you didn't do this so ethereum into one litecoin um, and we're going to transfer one pound's worth one pound so it says there uh one pound is 0 0.003999 uh, and in litecoin that's going to equate to 0.019 and it's going to be 94 pence. So I'm actually losing. So I suppose it does tell you, if I'm actually uh, correcting myself here, I'm losing 6p. So that's not too bad, actually. So maybe it was the other way around. So let's try the other way. So let's do Litecoin to Ephraim, and we do one pound that way. Yeah, I actually, yeah, so I'm right. So Litecoin to Ethereum is one pound you receive 0.73p worth of Ethereum. So in that transaction, I'm losing 27p, which is 27%.
I wonder what it would be if I was to transfer a hundred then or if that obviously I haven't got enough money in there, but oh yeah, it does tell you. So yeah, you lose well with that, with a hundred pounds you lose one pound eighty four. That's not too bad. Thousand with a thousand pounds you're losing what's that a seventeen pound again not too bad so seems to change in um it seems to change depending on the amount that you're transferring over ten pounds you lose forty p so that's not too bad so maybe I'm just being stung actually because obviously I'm doing one pound transaction um and I'm losing twenty six p um in in that in that transaction so you click exchange it comes up with a little bing and then it'll make a coin ching sound once it's actually gone across. So um, I've got to say the people to Exodus, uh, I very much doubt they're ever going to see my video. Um, but yeah, top top software, um, really clean. This is what I like. This is what I like about Apple products really. I'm not too loyal to one brand over another but I just like things that work, you know, like I don't want to have to go in and do loads of updates and change settings and I just want to sign my name in and things work and Coinbase and Exodus, they do it, they charge you a fee for that, same as with Apple products, you pay a premium but all their stuff, when you buy anything that connected to their stuff, it, it generally, it works uh, as a rule of thumb. So. If we actually go into my portfolio now, you'll see at the top left there, it says I've got £2.27. So that pound is actually floating at the minute. So I don't actually know where it goes. Obviously, it takes a while to transfer over. You, I think you get an email and then you get like a little, from your computer anyway, you won't hear it, it can come through my ears. You get like a little money ching sound again. So that means it actually has gone through. Um, and then this will refresh. So really easy to use. Um, I really like it. Uh, let's click this little blue status button because I don't know what it does. All systems operational. I think this is just if you've got a, an update to read like on their notice board. I do need to have a little look into, um, by the sounds of things, from what I read like on a small notice thing on uh, Coinbase, you get charged a fee, not by the company, but the... Uh, I, but I mean, there isn't a central bank, I suppose. But by Bitcoin themselves, or by Litecoin, they these firms, or not firms, these blockchains, if you like, I think they have somewhere in there how much fee they charge for moving their money. But I don't know. Don't hold that against me. But um, I mean, I wonder what it would be to send a Bitcoin from this exchange again, one Bitcoin into. Yeah, Ethereum. So let's do. Not to lose forty p. So it's not too bad. What if I want to? What if I want to send this? I tell you what, this doesn't do. Thinking about it, or I haven't seen anyway. Doesn't allow you to transfer the money into actual so this is what before i invest heavily and when i say heavily i mean like maybe a thousand pounds you know i'm not <laughs> i haven't got that much money to throw around i wanted to just put 50 quid out there like i'm doing to play about i would have never have known about all these fees and stuff just by reading it in a book or online somewhere so i'm actually playing and actually learning that's the best way i learn um, and obviously you don't want to be losing hundreds of pounds. So, you know, I'm transferring over one pounds here, 10 pounds there, because I'm not going to lose sleep if I, like with BitConnect, I lost 20 quid uh, just playing about with their website. <laughs> so that was an expensive learning uh, tool, but um, I'd rather do that than 200. And the thing that always scares me is I always want to see how easy it is to back out. So it's these softwares and these companies, oh, I just got the little money ching in my ear. So let's have a look. So yeah, the uh, money's gone in there. I've got three pound now. So all in total, I've lost forty. I, as you saw, I had three pound forty-four. So that whole transaction really has cost me forty-four p. Um, but then we we did the thing, didn't it? And it's only said twenty-six. I lost twenty-six p. So where's the other eighteen p gone? Um, obviously, Exodus somewhere takes it. <laughs> somewhere they're taking the money 
Um, and that's what I don't like. That's the only gripe I have so far. So Exodus, if you're watching this, please could you bring up a little pop-up box that says this will cost you this much um, so that I can use this software going forward uh, many times over. But yeah, that's uh, that's my view of the Exodus software. This is 1.38.1. And um, let me know what you guys think. If you think there's a better wallet out there, um, let me know. I really un I want a multi-currency one because I want to be dealing with sort of more than one currency at a time. I don't just want like Bitcoins. Um, so let me know what you guys think if you've got any experiences with others. Um, follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. They're all BitGlen. Um, and I also uh, have down below in the description of this video... If you do want to join Coinbase, um, I've got a link or a code that you can put in when you start up and you get a free £10 worth of Bitcoins when you buy at least $100 worth. So that's about, I don't know, 80 quids worth. Um, and also this Exodus software is free to download. It's off exodus.io uh, um, website. Let's actually go to their main website. And it was really super, like it was easy, it was quick. Um, yeah, really, really good software. I really recommend this. Um, I just want to know where the fees are. Once I know that and I feel confident with it, so these are the guys that created it. Uh, once I know all that, then I'd be happy to, you know, I know what, I'm, what I can and can't transfer without incurring huge fees. Bit like that Bitcoin, six pound to send one pound of Bitcoin, a massive rip off, but uh I'm sure there's a reason for that. Um, I just need to find out what. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go because I've been blabbering on for ages now. So I'll see you on the next episode of BitGlen, and I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Bye.